born on the mining planet of Patros during the New Sith Wars. Dusso served in the Army of the Sith as a Gloomwalker, where his strength in the Force was first realized by the Dark Lord Kopez. Now known as Bane, he would be sent to train at the Academy of Korriban, becoming one of the most powerful students. But his belief in the dark side was shaken after a devastating defeat at the hands of his fellow student Sirak and the memory of all those he had killed, even his father. But under secret training from his masters Githany and the Blade Master Kasim, along with studying the Sith archives, Bane realized the Sith had grown weak and that the Brotherhood of Darkness placed equality over the dark side of the Force. Regaining his belief in the dark side, after defeating the Dark Lord Sirak, Bane proclaimed himself Darth, a title no longer used by the current Sith because of its claim to superiority. Denouncing the Brotherhood, Darth Bane left the Academy for the planet Lahan, searching for the Temple of the Ancient on the back of a Rancor. Upon finding the Temple along with Darth Revan's holocron, Darth Bane would spend weeks learning the ways of ancient Sith, learning more than he ever had under the Brotherhood, realizing that the Sith had grown weak because of lesser Sith Lords combining forces to defeat a more powerful Sith Lord which enabled the weak to rule. With the final words from Darth Revan's holocron, Darth Bane would establish the rule of two, a Sith master to embody the power, and an apprentice to crave it, until the roles were fulfilled. During his revelations, Darth Bane would be forced to defeat his former master, the Dark Lord Kasim, by using a wave of dark energy that caused the temple to collapse crushing the Blade Master, and fulfilling Darth Bane's role as the apprentice. The third battle of Rusan raged on, seeing both the dark and the light in a stalemate. Healed from a failed assassination attempt, Darth Bane, who had rejoined the Brotherhood of Darkness on Rusan, began to set his plans in motion in a search for a worthy apprentice. Bane would act as a conduit to channel all of the Dark Lord's energies and unleashing a devastating force storm on the Jedi's army of light. But fearing Bane's power, Skir Khan used his battle meditation to end the ceremony before all the Jedi were wiped out, enraging Bane. Not realizing he had been tricked, Khan would lead the Sith army in a final ceremony to destroy the Jedi, using his battle meditation willing his followers to join him. But during this time, Bane would sabotage the Sith fleet and then force choke the former headmaster of the academy, Cordis. Khan and the other Dark Lords unleashed the Thought Bomb, trapping all their souls along with 200 Jedi in a silver prism for eternity. With the War of Rusan finally won, the Jedi believed the Sith were gone, but Bane had survived and found a powerful apprentice named Xana. In hopes to learn more about the true Sith, Darth Bane would head for Duxin and search of Freedom Nad's tomb, along with his holocron. But once Bane found the holocron, he was attacked by Orbalus, which had stuck to his skin creating armor. The parasites were lightsaber proof, enhanced his healing abilities, along with his connection to the Force, but at the cost of uncontrollable rage. The now undefeatable Darth Bane, along with Darth Xana, began to manipulate the Republic from the shadows, using their acquired wealth and anti-Republic groups. But Darth Bane would become enraged at his constant failures creating a holocron, and began searching for the ancient fortress of the Dark Lord Belia Darzu on Tython. After fighting off Darzu's Techno Beast, Darth Bane would at long last succeed at creating a holocron, but the Sith would be ambushed by a Jedi strike team led by Master Farfalla. The two Sith would quickly dispatch four of the five Jedi, but as Bane moved in to use his Force Lightning on Johan Atone, Jedi Master Domat used a Force Protection Bubble around Bane, causing him to be trapped within his own Force Storm. The Orbalist would begin to die, releasing a poison into Bane's body. Though Bane was nearly killed, he would be saved by the Force Healer Caleb. Eight years later, Darth Bane, whose body had began to fail, believed his apprentice was unworthy, and began his search for immortality, traveling to Pekith to find the holocron of Darth Undedu, and to learn the art of essence transfer. Darth Bane and Darth Xana would finally meet on Ambria for the long-awaited battle, and the winner would take Darth Cognus as their new apprentice. The two Sith Lords engaged using their lightsabers, but Bane was not prepared for Darth Xana's strength and dark side sorcery, summoning dark side tendrils. Bane was grabbed, causing his arm to vaporize, but during this moment, Bane would release his essence transfer and attempt to destroy Xana's mind. Though Xana and Bane's strength were evenly matched, Darth Bane would perish and Darth Xana became the new master and would continue the rule of two. 